Let's say you have a line with the length x. How would you go about creating another line with the length, the square root of x? Well, that's what I'm going to show you in this video. The trick to doing this is going to be adding the length 1 to the length x. What you then do is bisect this line x plus 1 down the center. Now create a semicircle around that new center point. What you then do is create a perpendicular line to the line x plus 1 where this length 1 starts, okay? So you create a line that is perpendicular to the line x plus 1 just over here. Now this line going up which intersects with the semicircle and starts from the line x plus 1 is going to have the length root x, okay? And I'm going to show you algebraically why this is the case. Now have a look at this diagram carefully. Over here we have a radius which goes to the center of the semicircle and we also have a radius going up here, okay? If the center to the edge of the semicircle is equal to r, then this value over here from the center to the start of the length 1 is going to be r minus 1. So the height here will produce the equation r minus 1 squared plus h squared is equal to r squared, okay? If we use Pythagoras' theorem, we are going to discover that this length over here, h, is equal to the square root of x. And I'm going to demonstrate this algebraically. So, we have r minus 1 squared plus h squared is equal to r squared, okay? If we expand this equation, we get this over here. Then, we subtract radius squared from both sides of this equation. That's going to leave us with this, okay? And then, we get h squared is equal to 2r minus 1. That means that h is the square root of 2r minus 1. Now I'm going to show you why 2r minus 1, the square root of 2r minus 1, should give us the square root of x. As we're dealing with a semicircle, 2r, which is 2 radiuses, is going to be equal to the length x plus 1. Okay, so 2r is x plus 1. If we plug it back into this equation over here, what we get is h is equal to the square root of x plus 1 minus 1. And that leaves us with h is equal to the square root of x. So we've shown, using geometry and algebra, that this height over here must be equal to the square root of x. So, if you have a length x, and you want to get the length, the square root of x, what you use is this technique. 